Malaria is a parasitic infection spread by the female Anopheles mosquito. The disease itself is caused by a single-celled parasite, which is neither a virus nor a bacterium. A female Anopheles mosquito will ingest the male and female forms of the plasmodium parasite when it feeds on an infected person. The parasite will then met in the gut of the mosquito, giving rise to the infected form. The mosquito passes the infective form of the parasite into the next victim through its saliva. The parasite then undergoes another change in the liver of the victim before entering the bloodstream and invading the victim's red blood cells. The parasite multiplies in the red blood cells until they burst open, releasing the parasite into the rest of the body, causing the more common symptoms of malaria. Malaria often begins with flu-like symptoms. This includes high fevers, chills or shivering, sweats, headaches, muscle and joint aches, fatigue and poor appetite. Sometimes these are accompanied by abdominal pains, nausea, vomiting and diarrhea. These symptoms are often cyclical due to the life cycle of the parasite with fevers and chills marking every release of the parasites into the bloodstream. Symptoms often appear seven to 10 days after infection. Though there are strains of the plasmodium parasite that can remain inactive for up to a year before presenting symptoms. These strains can go back to being dormant in the liver only to cause relapses later. But one strain of the parasite the Plasmodium falciparum is particularly dangerous and can lead to kidney failure, abnormal liver function, severe anemia, low blood sugar, and cerebral malaria, which is a very severe infection of the brain, leading to confusion, seizures, and increasing tiredness, leading to coma and death. For this reason, it is important for you to check with your doctor the moment you present any symptoms of malaria. A simple blood test will reveal the type of parasite affecting you and will inform the doctor of the best course of treatment for you. But prevention is better than cure. Drain stagnant water around your home, especially where your children play. Sleep under an insecticide treated net and consult your doctor or clinic before traveling to regions particularly prone to malaria. Some people have a partial immunity to malaria, and you may be one of those. But that doesn't mean you are still not at risk, especially if you are expectant with a child. A woman's immunity to malaria is lowered during pregnancy, and she can pass on the parasites to her baby, which can prove fatal. So, be sure and be safe. Malaria is completely curable if detected early. Consult your doctor immediately. It may be the flu, or even just a simple cold, but better safe than sorry.